Sonables is entering the AI technology platform with their new plugin, Smart Comp. Crab Tendo. What is going on, guys? We all know that AI technology is something that everybody is either loved or hated. I don't know why people will hate it. I think that if you're going to have new technology in front of your hands, that you should take full advantage of it. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to show you how good this is. If it's not good, I definitely want to hear it in the comment sections. If you did buy a plugin from Plugin Boutique, which I will have a link in the description box, and you downloaded that EQ, you can upgrade to this particular plugin. It does not matter which one that you had bought from Sonables, and that will help with the price. Otherwise, it is on sale right now, and I don't know when you're going to view this video or what time you're going to view this video, but I just want to let you guys know about that. So with that, let's go into what matters the most. So this is how the plugin looks like. Again, the link will be in the description box if you're interested. But, you know, this thing is vectoral, so I'm really happy about that because there are plugins that came out recently this year that does not do that. Massive X, that costs double the price. Massive X. And <laughs> it's really good because Sonables is a competent company, as you can see by their programming. Uh, when I go here, you can go to Show Tutorial, which is really good, very useful for people that don't know what they're doing. This is what I did. And once I went in here into the slideshow, it went and explained different parts and how they work and how they are usable in your mixing and mastering process. So with this, you can see the explanation for it and I think it's really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this X. And also there's another feature when I play this track, uh, this is how it sounds like. So on the input, it is clipping, and that goes to show you that it has another hidden feature, which is not really that hidden if you look into the bolt itself. Uh, it is a soft clipper if you want it to be a soft clipper, so that is really good. I know a lot of people like to squareify their mix and make it really loud, and that's what they want to do and all that, and that's fine. Now let's go into actually using it. So I'm going to play the track, and then I'm going to hit this button right here. Now, as you can see, it just did the compression that fast. Now, in comparison to Isotope, which I shouldn't compare to Isotope's uh, plugins, but this is extremely fast as far as its calculations go. Now, one thing I do want to tell you guys is that there is a undo button. So you can undo what you, if you don't like the way the compressor set itself up, and then there are other options as well. You can set it up for standard drum, kick, snare, bass, guitar, keys, vocal female and vocals male. And you know, you could just experiment on which you like and then you gotta play the track. Yeah, you can see that the compression is working there and visually it is very pleasing. Uh, you see you have a spectral meter here uh, that you can look at and you also have a visual meter. You can see where the actual compression happens. It happens once it hits this peak right over here. Then so, this is really good too because you can actually set up the compression, the ratio and see where the compression happens. Of course, you know, every time it goes above that, that's when the compression uh, pushes down those peaks. And with that, there's no loss in that as well, as well as you having side chaining, ducking too. So if you're into getting that low hop, fi hip hop, pumpy vibe, you know, you can just go into your standard feature here. I'm gonna go and uh, do a little bit of undo. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, go back in the standard here and play it. And boom, uh, once you have uh, played the track, uh, you, as you can see, it remembered uh, how it was set up from the beginning there, just in case you want to do it. But that's not all. I mean, you know, with compression and the difficulty of understanding compression in a nutshell, I have to explain a little bit of right of stuff, right? Uh, so you have your threshold where you are setting a how loud. Yeah. 
then you have your ratio, which is a limitation of how much of those peaks that you want to be compressed. And then you have your attack, which is set up right now to be just minimal. Uh, and you can set it to be real fast. So if you go all the way to the left, that means that the compression will start quickly. So that's what you need to know. So just looking at it in general, it's like a volume envelope. Anyways, like an ADSR, it's really fast. So. Uh, for those that didn't hear me, I just said slow compression right here. So that is one thing that I want you guys to understand about compressors in a nutshell here is that you have to understand the trickery for what it is. Um, that might not be what you really want to, it to sound like, but the fact that you are limiting certain peaks so that you will can get a nice loud mix without overdriving things. So that's if you want that. Now that's just the case. That might not be the case. Uh, also with release, that dictates how fast the release is on the compression to how slow the release is on the compression. Let's hear that. And you can hear that difference. You can also set up your, your threshold here and you have it visually here to see how your piece will fit. Also, you have this button right here so you can set up a softer uh, compression or you can set up the, the knee to be hard, a hard knee or a soft knee, usually with like certain elements, maybe like pianos or something like that, you might want a softer knee or you might want a harder knee on like your kicks or something like that. That's just a rule, it don't mean that you have to do that. Now we're gonna listen to this bass. Now in the old school, people would use compression to keep the bass at the same volume or just to control the harmonics of the bass itself, the subharmonics that is. As you can hear, it's uh, lower velocities on it, like a real bass. Because you might not pluck it or pick it uh, at a certain velocity uh, just to avoid certain harmonics from the pickup. Now, in this case here, what we're going to do is we're going to use Smart Comp, and we're going to test out and see what it does for the bass. So we're going to see everything will be equal volume. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to set up the bass part. Boom. And we're going to play that bass. And we are setting it up right now. We just hit that button, see what Smart Comp will do. Now let's get a visual of that MIDI. Now we're going to bypass it. Yeah, it's doing its job. So that is really good. That is a really good thing. One of the main things that I really like about this is that you can listen to the difference of like your compression versus the original dry. Let's turn it on. And now it's on. You can hear what is compressing and how is it working. And I find that to be pretty convenient there. So it's a really good tool so far. So tell me how you feel about this plugin. I think it's really good for what it's worth. I think it's good for bass. Uh, it's good for everything if you know how to use compression. It's really good for your master if you wanna get that pumpy mix or whatnot. So if you're into that low fi hip hop type vibe where you had the little pumpiness to it, it is good for that. And it's just a great tool overall. Uh, the cons of it, I've had some experience with some a little bit of crashing in Ableton Live. I didn't test it out in FL Studio. But I will do that and let you guys know in the comment section if it has it. I'm going to talk to Sonables and see if they will do an update for it or test it out even further. Or see if it might be a problem of my own because I do like to load up a lot of plugins on top of plugins. Do I, do I, give, do this I give this the stamp this of approval? approval. Uh, I'll give it about 75% until they fix that bug. <laughs> <laughs>